This video is about modeling data using quadratic functions. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.6. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. A residual plot is a graph showing the error in a model at each x value. If the model used was appropriate for the data, no pattern will appear in the residual plot. If the model used was not appropriate for the data, there will be a pattern in the residual plot. Number one, an exponential regression model was used to model a data set not shown. The residual plot of the exponential model is shown above. Which of the following statements about the appropriateness of the model is correct? An exponential model was used, and this is the residual plot. We do see a clear pattern. Therefore, the exponential regression model was not appropriate for the data. So the answer is A. An exponential model is not appropriate because there is a clear pattern in the graph of the residuals. Number two, the number of cars in the United States grew exponentially after Henry Ford utilized the assembly line process to manufacture cars. The table above gives data for the total number of cars in the U.S per 1,000 people for several years from 1920 to 1980. Part A, use the regression capabilities on your calculator to find an exponential model in the form y equals a times b to the x. For the number of cars in the US per 1,000 people, x years since 1920. I want you to reset your calculator by hitting second plus seven one two. That's second plus seven one two. Now we are all starting off fresh. Hit the stat button and hit enter. Let's enter the input values in L1 and the output values in L2. To calculate the exponential regression model, hit stat, switch to the calc menu, and choose exponential regression, which is not on the screen right now. So scroll down until you see it and hit enter. Before you calculate, go to where it says store regression equation and tell the calculator to store the equation in Y1 by hitting alpha trace enter. Now hit enter a couple more times, and there it is. Here is the exponential regression model. The College Board will accept three decimal places. However, I find that students often lose points on the AP exam because they round incorrectly. So my recommendation is to always use four decimal places and no rounding. Part B. According to the model found in Part A, how many cars were in the U.S. per 1,000 people in the year 1935? Since X is the number of years since 1920, the year 1935 is X equals 15. So we need to evaluate our model at 15. Since we stored this regression model as Y1 on the calculator, we need to evaluate Y1 at 15. You can pull up Y1 by hitting alpha trace enter. You can evaluate at 15 by putting 15 next to it in parentheses and hitting enter. 190.9796. So that's 190.9796 cars per 1,000 people in the year 1935. Part C. Find the residual for the number of cars in the U.S. per 1,000 people for the year 1980. Does our model overestimate or underestimate the number of cars in the U.S. per 1,000 people? The residual value at x will equal the actual value at x minus the predicted value at x. This means the value on the table minus the value of the regression model. 1980 is 60 years after 1920, so x equals 60. 
the residual value for the year 1980 will be the table value at x equals 60 minus y at 60. The table value is 710.21. We don't want to lose any decimal accuracy, so let's type this expression into the calculator. 710.21 minus y at 60. So that's alpha trace enter at 60. The residual is negative 57.8799. Since a residual value is the actual value minus the estimate, a negative residual means the actual value was less than the estimate. Let's add that to our notes. A negative residual means that the actual value is less than the estimate, or you could say that the estimate is more than the actual value. So a negative residual indicates an overestimate. A positive residual indicates that the actual value is greater than the estimate. In other words, the estimate is less than the actual value. So a positive residual indicates an underestimate. In this case, the negative residual means that our model overestimated the number of cars in 1980. Number three, a particular data set not shown includes nine points and follows a quadratic pattern. If a quadratic regression model is created from the nine data points, sketch a possible residual plot below. The key is that the data is quadratic and the regression model is also quadratic. Therefore, the regression model is an appropriate model for the data. Earlier in the video, we learned that if the regression model is appropriate, we expect to see no pattern on the residual plot. So a possible residual plot would be any plot that shows no pattern for the nine data points. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.